Shalom. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our elders, and that's the elders of GMS that feed us with knowledge and understanding, okay? And that are faithful. And much love to you brothers too to come and get, you know, fed and, and, and pray and watch because that's what we're ordered to do. Uh, real quick story. I did a story about Russia going and sending the S-300s to Syria while well, they're there. The, they already received the shipment. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and we'll get into the scriptures. Because this is all leading up to that great day, man. Syria has received its first batch of Russian anti-aircraft missiles, and that's what President Assad told the Hezbollah television network. The statement's adding fuel to the tensions over the S-300 air defense system, with the U.S. slamming Russia's actions and Israel signaling it would prevent it from becoming operational. Our disposed leader is following international escalation over Syria. Moscow says that it will continue to supply air defense missiles, calling it a balance that is designed to deter foreign intervention inside Syria. The Russian foreign ministry says that it will restrain, this is to quote the ministry, some hotheads from escalating the conflict to the international scale. But the United States, as expected, has condemned the sale, while here in Israel, the Israelis are saying that they will act to prevent the S-300 missiles from becoming operational on Syrian soil. The Israeli Defense Minister Moshe Ayalon says that if the missiles reach Syria, and to quote him, Israel will know what to do. At the same time, controversy... Okay, if you people don't understand, those are Russian... They don't just give Syria the weapons, okay? Russia sends trained army officials there to use the S-300s because these guys, the, the Syrian people aren't... The Syrian army is not trained in using the S 300s because the firing mechanisms are in Russian. Okay? The the shooting is in Russian. The the satellite reading is in Russian. They didn't make it to Syrian specifications. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna send Russian soldiers to run the S three hundreds. Okay? And if that happens, if Israel strikes those S three hundreds, they're gonna be killing Russian military. And if they kill Russian military, that is a declaration of war. Okay? So if you kill another person's side, soldiers, that's automatically a, a, a preemptive strike or a, a proxy into the war, man. That's just the leading into the, the next stage of war because it's not going to be Syrians running those S-300. It's going to be Russian manned. That's what we should get out. Russian manned S-300s. They ain't going to drop... Uh, uh, depleted uranium weapons into the hand of Syria and just by themselves. They're going to be there. That's what you got people need to understand. The news is not telling you. Russia's already in there. Russia's sending its soldiers to man those stations. I just want to point that out. Shalom. News over the lifting of the EU embargo for lethal aid for the rebels inside Syria. Now, as we know, 25 countries voted against it. Only the UK and France pushed for it, with the German Chancellor Angela Merkel saying that her country will never send arms to the militants in Syria despite oh, this lift. Oh, now, in this interview with his TV, the Syrian President Bashar Assad says that there are around 100,000 foreign mercenaries who are fighting on the side of the rebels inside Syria. He says that his government will not stand in the way of groups who want to fight for the liberation of the Golan, and he has warned to quote him from this interview that the Syrian army will retaliate immediately to another Israeli strike inside Syrian territory. Washington has said nothing about this huge number of foreign mercenaries operating inside Syria, although it has been critical of Hezbollah fighting on the side of the Syrian President Assad. There is an international peace conference that is being planned in Geneva next month that will be brokered by both the US and Russia. But in the same interview to Hezbollah TV, the Syrian President Assad said that he was not particularly hopeful that anything would come out of this. He did, however, say that Syria will take part but again, that he doesn't expect any kind of big decisions to be made. Big decisions to be made. 
The opposition, meanwhile, remains divided. This video has emerged from the recent Syrian National Coalition meeting, and it shows the frustration of envoys of both Western and Arab nations when the SNC fails to broaden the coalition by making more seats available. The French ambassador chastised members of the opposition. He was angry over the coalition's failure to agree on introducing new members. You don't deserve the that we made. One member replies, asking, will you cut the weapons? The French ambassador then says, did I say so? I didn't say that. What it does seem is that the collapse of the talks had a lot to do with the push and pull of various foreign powers jockeying for influence within the coalition. So you can see, man, they're falling apart, man. The most high, all these, and don't think that I have to reiterate it and restate it that we ain't on the side of the Russians, we ain't on the side of the Syrians. We just know we're on the side of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and his prophecies. Okay? We know that they have to go into Syria and they have to go into Iran. We're not with the Persians. We're not dealing with them. All we know is that's a part of prophecy, and when that happens, we're one step closer to going home. Okay? That's how we that's how we're we're rooting for this thing. Okay? And I'll read this in Psalms real quick. This is Psalms eighty three. And now the Most High is visiting these people. They were once all in league with each other against us. Now the Most High is turning them on each other. Okay? And, and, and putting confusion in there. And it says, this is Psalms 83 and 1. It says, Keep not silence, O power. How's he not? Now he's not keeping silence. Because now he's stirring them up. He's putting them against each other. Once they were all in league, getting money, you know, pillaging the world. Because the, 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 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked was doing its thing. Now the Most High is turning them upside down. It says, Keep not silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. All right? So they're trying, man. This is a that that was their they won, but they didn't think that the Most High was going to come back and pay them back. Now they're being turned upside down, and it's confusion amongst them. All right? This is also, let's jump to Ezekiel um, 30, 36. And it says, Also, thou son of man, prophesy against the mountains of Israel, and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord power, because thy enemies ha have said against you, Ah, even the ancient high places are our possessions. Therefore prophecy and uh, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord power, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be possessions unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Therefore, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord of power. Thus saith the Lord power to the mountains and to the hills and to the rivers and to the valleys and to the uh, desolate wastes and to the cities that are forsaken, which become a prey and a uh, derision to the residue of the heathens that are round about. Now you have the Palestinians in there. You have the Israelis. That's beefing. The land of Israel is going to be demolished, man. Let's keep going. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Power, surely in the fire of my jealousy I have spoken against the residue of the heathen and against the, and against all Idumia. Idumia is Esau, man. You Edomites, man. That's what it's speaking about. Because what's in Pal what is in Israel today? You have the chief tribe of Esau, the, the Idumians, which is Amalek, okay, the head house, all right? It says, um, and that word for Idumia, Shalakia, hold on. Edom, it's Edom, man. It says, which have, Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possessions. How? Man, this is prophecy, man. 
who has the land of Israel today by the Balfour Declaration? Was it not by the hand of the Rothschilds? Okay, and now Amalek, the chief tribe of Esau, is in the land of uh, Israel, which was which was priorly uh, occupied by the Palestinians. Okay, that's why it says this. This is Zechariah. Let me get it real quick. This is, this is Zechariah 9 and 6, and it says, A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines, okay? The Philistines is the Hamites, all right? But when it's saying the bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, Ashdod is a port city in Israel. So a bastard is dwelling there, and that's the fulfillment of this prophecy in these days, man. A, a true bastard is staying there. And a bastard means fatherless. Who's his, he don't have a spiritual father, okay? And it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Surely in the fire of my jealousy I have spoken against residue of the heathen, and against all Idumia which have appointed my land into their possessions, with, with the joy of all their hearts, and the despiteful minds to cast out for a prey. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel, and say unto the mountains, and to the hills, and to the rivers, and to the valleys, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathens. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathens that are about you, they shall bear their shame. All right. So as it's going, we got enough. We know that, man, Russia's going to be involved in this war soon. It's going to crack off soon. And I just wanted to touch another story about, uh, see how much time I got. Uh, I think I can get this, these couple stories in. Let's just start playing it. Because now they're, they're, they're moving on these gun, these, uh, they're making a gun grab, okay? So they're trying to demonize, which they've already been demonizing the Patriot movement or whatever. But that's going to cause that that uh, insurrection in America when you got these Patriots versus the government, man, over their guns. Meantime, federal agents are questioning a Texas man in connection with a rice and lace letter sent to the president. The letter was intercepted at a D.C. mail sorting facility. Investigators say it's similar to the letters that were sent to the New York mayor, the leader of an anti-gun coalition. The letter, in essence, complains about gun control. It says that anyone who comes for my guns will be shot in the face. In the letter, it says you, and then it starts off with the uh, with the narrative. So, at this juncture, we believe the letters are the same. The officials say all three letters were postmarked in Shreveport, Louisiana. The investigation has been handed over to the FBI and the Joint Terrorism Task Force. That's that one. So now they're they're demonizing these patriots movement, man. Because they're coming for them guns. They just just like in Europe, they can't have people randomly having weapons. If they want to take over, they gotta take the weapons out. That's the first key plan. When they take them weapons out, they can move, man. Everything else is gonna move faster and faster after that. So I can, let me lift this up. This is another story. To show you that how wicked these damn Edomites are, man. Our Gonzaga University Jesuit priest and music professor is under investigation for child porn. Father Gary Ulenkot's apartment and campus office were raided in 